Hi, it's busy. It's March 24th, 2022. <laughs> I already forgot what year it is. And um, it's day 11 on my path that I'm walking in a transition, in a transformation, in creating um, my whole new life. And I have to say, I I've been tap dancing a little on the path today, um, having fun. A friend from work came and <clears throat> I had I was when I was cleaning up yesterday and finishing that I'd found some unopened containers of little fuses and a fuse checker and puller and and so I said, hey, are, are these the right fuses? So he said, well, hey, I'll show you where the fuse box is because I, I hadn't looked for it yet in this truck. And so we talked about that and I, you know, got notes about a few things I might pick up and I said, you know, if it doesn't cost but a few pennies or a few bucks and I never use it because I have it and have to worry about it, that's the best money you could ever spend because if I'm in the middle of nowhere and that one little tiny fuse <laughs> goes out and I can spend, the, I don't know, a dollar or two dollars on it. Then it cost me a fortune to get dragged back to town to get a new one. So anyways, he helped me with that and um, uh, really nice, just a nice friend connection and um, uh, showing me the fuse boxes and well, you know, you know, you don't need that. You don't need that, but get this and then um, kind of looking through the manual, which is like this thick <laughs> and said, you know, these areas here. You, you don't really need to pay attention to because it's just some stuff they go off of but there these few and he turned a bunch over he said these are going to be helpful you're going to go to these areas a lot and we talked about the inverter i think that's the right term for it there's a converter and inverter it's an inverter which takes the power that the truck brings from its battery inside the truck and it has a thing so i can plug in um, and charge my phone and all that but i can also run my computer um because it has a like a house plug thing in the dash of the truck and i was like hey shazam uh, an office in a truck <laughs> so that was very exciting it's a small the the inverter is a small box that, that sits in the in the back um, seat underneath the seat um anyway so i you know i just hadn't had time to check all these things out. I thought it was there in the, um, you know, the, uh, the vehicle um, on the lot thing. So that's fun. So now he says, as long as you're running the engine, you know, um, which is good. So if you're you, what you can do is you can work on the computer, um, you know, off the battery, and then when you're ready to go, secure the computer on the floor and plug it in while you're driving someplace. Then you can run the truck, charge the computer, drive, and and have this, the computer secure. So that was very cool. And then of course the cell phone as well. But the, it was very cool to flip this thing down and see, you know, a plug just like an outlet in the wall. So that was exciting. Now I have to find out where I there's a. And if anybody knows this, I'd love to have you, um, you know, leave a comment or something and or write me an email and let me know. But there was at one point, because I've been researching for a while and then just put it aside because I didn't want to, you know, about going on the road with the trailers and fifth wheel was the original plan and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, well, if I just keep looking, that's, I don't want to force the issue. So I want to be in the flow with it. So a couple months ago, I put it all aside and, um, so somewhere I had found something where there is a it was a little bit pricey, but it meant that I would have for the RV, you know, and and it would connect to the truck as well. I would have um, basically my own um, very interesting light that's flashing in the back. My own juicy hotspot um, for my for my RV. So I have to somehow somewhere I bookmarked it and. Hopefully I can find it, but if anybody knows of that, where can I get something like that, that um, eventually I can mount to the <clears throat> roof of the RV, 
but even I could, you know, have it in the truck so that I have, have my own wireless, I'm my own hotspot wherever I go. Um, and if anybody else has, has been, you know, doing a lot of camping, <coughs> excuse me, just in a truck or, or um, in a tent or in an RV, any words of wisdom you've got, I'd love it. Um, so anyways, he showed me a few other things in the truck. They were saying, oh, we talked about the, there's a brake assist inside the truck that, um, cause when the trailer, when the RV is hooked up to the truck, when I push the brake pedal, obviously it'll slow it down and you can calibrate the tolerances and how much, but this is an additional brake assist so that if I'm going down a steep hill and I get a gust of wind or something like that, I can give just a little bit of a squeeze to, to help, um, level out the thing and we talked about um uh, weight differential hitches and so um army guy talk <laughs> which is helpful and i'm taking notes um i mean a lot of it i've been studying enough so i have a lot of it in but anyway so any any information on that a friend good friend sent me an email <coughs> two days ago and um with some really helpful you know things that it, it you know she said well i don't know if you're gonna find this useful but it was it was very you know a, a kitchen in a bag and stuff like that and it got me thinking in a slightly different way and um and the you know the love and the energy from the email was wonderful and the content in the email was wonderful and you know, kind of the visions that were coming of me actually being, you know, seeing vignettes of me being on the road and doing that was helpful. So, um, and I just love the connection. I love, you know, people so that I know that they're friends, you know, joining me all along the way, whether I ever get to meet you in, in the near term and in person, but um, I love that. So if, if you've got stuff to share, share away. Um, comments are good, or like I said, you can email me. Um, I've got some little spots along the way that say, hey, you know, if you've ever, if you're, when you come by, our driveway is big enough for, uh, you know, the, the rig you'll have or backyard or we got a campground near us and you can play or, so that's very cool. And I love it. Very love it. Um, so another thing that was um, very fun and uh, you can see that <laughs> it's been a good day because um, got a lot of work, job stuff done, and got some work on already. I'll do more this evening on my business and getting that um, focused, fine tuning some things, and um, you know that the mechanics of it, so that I can, as I said, start to come up with a plan to um, you know create content and then put it in in front of people who could use the. Um, the fun and games and assistance and stuff that I'm putting out. Um, so that was fun. One of the two things that um, I'll, I'm going to start with one request. I have a request. If um, if you listen to podcasts or know about podcasts or have friends who talk about you know their favorite podcast is X, Y, or Z, what I would love to have you do, because I would love to be able to contact different, and I don't know much about it, uh, you know, specific um, podcast shows and stuff and, and what their focus is and their audience and that kind of stuff. But I had such a good time doing this radio interview, which I, like I said, I used to do them years ago, a lot of them, and that was fun. And then, um, and I'll, I did put a link for everybody if they want to go and find out the 30 speakers that are at the summit that I've been invited to be in. Um, but I had such a fun time um, doing that whole conversation that will be in part of that um, with the other uh, 29 speakers. Um, so I'd love to do be, you know, for those podcasts who are looking for a guest to be a guest on different people's podcasts. So what my request to you is if you have a favorite podcast and um, would you be willing to reach out, find, give me, you know, a little email about what the podcast name is and the link. Um, you know, if you comment a lot on the podcast or stuff, if you'd like to, you know, just call their attention to me, they might have a booker or, or you know, who does that, but obviously, so, 
a podcast on anything around, um, you know, jumping into a whole new life um, and creating it as you go, that would be fine. <laughs> I don't know if there's a lot of ones like that, but you know, mindset and spirituality, um, intuition, um, creating your own success, being, you know, a free thinker and, and um, well, you know, if you're watching this, you've obviously seen a bunch of my stuff. So I would love to do that. So the, the direct request is if you listen to a podcast or have a friend or someone who does, and you, so you know the name and the host, you're familiar with it, you think it would be a good fit and you're willing if, would you, you know, just if you um, have a connection enough with them just because you're an audience member and you participate and write in the comments, say, you know, this person might be a fun guest on your show. So that's part of the request. And then would you um, either put in a comment section or would you email and let me know that so that I can start to put some, you know, I'll probably have a couple focuses that I can put out. And um, if I get time in the next day or so, I, I could, I'll do another email. I mean, another um, blog post where I'm asking this again. And it says, you know, so it gives you a little thing that you can say, hey, and you have just this little paragraph that you can, put in but I would really appreciate that since I don't I don't um occasionally listen to podcasts but not so that I know you know I've got a following or a favorite one that I go to so that would be a tremendously fun and big help to me and I get to learn stuff as well and perhaps can get some offers to come as a guest on different people's podcasts <clears throat> And it doesn't have to be just limited to certain things, but you know, there are people who who just have good conversations about all different things. So, um, uh, and same with with you know YouTube channels or or BitChute or Rumble channels or that kind of stuff. That's fine too. I just got, was getting in the thought of of um, podcasts because a friend um, said that's a good way because people can they can have it in their pocket so they can put it on their car radio when they're driving they can listen to it and so there's a longer listen through because they have to be doing their driving so they can listen at the same time and they can can multitask and and feed their their mind and their heart with stuff that's interesting to them so i would appreciate that if you're in the in the listening and the world and the fun of different people's podcasts if you would send me information, maybe mention, like I said, my name and stuff to them, and then send me the information. I would be very appreciative of that. Um, and the last thing I just wanted to share is that today was um, so much fun. It was so much fun because I was doing, um, I've mentioned this, I think in at least one of the of these video journals, I was been getting downloads and teachings, training, guidance on this whole new way to benefit me of um, the Trinity for with my heart and my soul and myself, myself, you know, the being that's me in the chair, um, and some really cool tools out of it and fun today and so that's been quite wonderful and really illuminating and fun um, because i'm seeing i'm seeing the connection i'm seeing what comes forward in that when i'm in that contemplative state and this zone i can feel it in the most wonderful way in my body um, and in my sensory array and i can see tangible things you know i can be working on something guided to work on a way in a certain way and or to focus on this and put it there and um go out and do something and i get you know a, a message or a connection or something that was in there out there <laughs> it shows up so that's very fun and um it's cool because it's actionable within me in the inner world in the contemplative world and it um, it is a direct reflection in the in the follow through the actionable from the um, you know the tangible linear to me. So it's a nice balance with that, and it's a walking with that. And there's no really not any thinking involved. 
you know, as a trying to kind of figure this out, that kind of stuff. So that's cool. But today it was particularly fun. It was a lovely flow. And um, it was the beginning of, as I mentioned, I had that, that phone call with a friend last night. Um, they called to say hi, see how you're doing. And, and we were playing a little. Um, and, you know, about what I was moving through, yay, that I was just about, you know, I hadn't finished when I had talked to her, I did it afterwards, but finished about just sorting the house. Um, but in the course of that call, I started to feel the feeling, feel the little bubblings up of well, where's the first night going to be spent and, and um, you know, thinking about um, different places to travel. And she said, well, um, you know, to get started and then you know, do I have a general direction and, and stuff. And so in today, as I was doing this, more of that bubbled up and it was, I was out on the porch late in the afternoon and um, I have a chaise lounge, which um, a friend is, is going to buy. So that's great. <laughs> Even though I'd like to take it with me, but, and the dogs will miss being on it too. But so Xander's on it and Keegan's closest to me more towards the foot of it. And I'm sitting in a chair and I was doing this practice and just completely in this flow of an interesting combination of radiant light and lovely colors, but excitement and peace, um, sweetness and exhilaration. Um, I know it may sound like interesting juxtaposition of words, but it was it was riveting and sublimely in flow all at the same time. And so this whole world is going on and I'm starting to get a sense, you know, a map kind of shimmers and starts to appear, just the big general USA map. And, and um, you know, there was no clear dots with pegs in the <laughs> map, but, but that was nice. And it was this whole, I would, was working through the, the process, the protocol that's coming in and doing that. And, um, I had a moment, so I, you know, eyes closed, relaxed, contemplative, deep, and then I had a moment that just was nudged, you know, it's like, you know, if, if you, if someone sees something standing behind you and they see something, they, they tap your shoulder and, you know, they look that way. So it was like that. And then I opened one eye and I looked and here's Keegan sitting on the end of the say, chaise lounge night. And he's, he's laying down, but he's, his head is erect and he's, he was meditating. He's sitting there with this kind of, you know, looking in my direction and just this, you know, contemplative half masked eyes and, and I, you know, I bit my tongue so I wouldn't laugh at how sweet it was, but, and Xander, you know, is in, in, in his relaxed pose, a little bit snoozing, but Keegan was right out there with me in the thing. So it was, it was such a wonderful moment because, um, I've stepped into this whole new world, this whole new way of being. I don't stay in it all the time, but I sure stay in it a lot more than I ever used to. And it really, aside from being cosmically delicious, it really brings home that the illusory and the um, kind of the intangible is out there, the physical world that that how we really walk and play and float and create and conjure and um, connect and communicate is within all of us. We don't have to do it with our eyes closed because, you know, I have been practicing that so I can do it anywhere. And I, I love to have that connection um, as I'm bringing this in with the trees or a bird, you know, just watch the bird and that kind of stuff. But, um, it's becoming more and more clear in a there again this juxtaposition of language in a very visceral, very um, you know my senses are super awake and alive and the feeling of that 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 supposed inner world or that kind of stuff is 
not only more tangible than the certain the false construct that's coming down, but um, I can do what it would take me many, many, many hours and hours and hours and hours of working, whether it's writing something or building something or calling something or interviewing for this or that or whatever it is, you know, so tangible things. I could would need hundreds and hundreds of hours of that to make money to create something with or or to create an opportunity, whatever it is that, you know, in, in thinking in specific linear terms, hundreds of hours and, and lots of scratch uh, to do it in what I can do in this space. Could be sitting on the porch steps and just because I have three minutes to tie my shoes and, and go off to work and what in that trinity, in that space, in that zone, I pull it in, I work with it, I align lined with my soul and the heart space and um, you know, that dreaming, desiring um, a lot of, of things, various things that, I, that I'm wanting to create and experience and all that it comes into this beautiful trinity holding and then it blossoms because like I said, I've been having experiences where I see it, you know, <clears throat> directly in a tangible um, way very quickly. So that's wonderful. And the reason I'm bringing it, just sharing it, because it, it's um, it's not new. It's not a surprise to me that this thing kind of stuff occurs. What is delightful? So surprise, not it's not worth the right word, but delightful. That when I committed to doing this, when I committed to, you know, this forty day transition and all that kind of stuff. But when I committed to being all in it you know knocked a lot of you know stuff off of me last bits and stuff and um more of me has come into me and so so we're meeting each other in a way that's playing an amazing you know double header game in something that we love to do and we're bringing it all to fruition so that the inside and the outside are mirroring, they're matching, and they're reflecting each other. And it's wonderful. Um, and it makes me so damn happy to play in that and, and to not just enjoy that quiet time or that contemplative time, but to see that it's now the only way as I get better and better and better and gain mastery of that, that I want to create and to, you know, to, to, um, to bring things to me, because when I'm in that space, I know the actionable things. I like that balance. You know, I know the actionable things. There's no waiting involved. There's no hoping something works. There's none of that. It's in a space and I see it and I feel it and I create it and I script it. And then I know go and there will be this email or go and find this connection here and 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 put what you're thinking into this conversation. So there is becoming more and more a seamless blend between, like I said, that, you know, more um, spiritual quantum contemplative state and the linear tangible there, there is not, there's less of this space and this space there's this space, you know, this, this whole um, cosmic cookie bowl of creation space, and then the actionable, you know, I'm baking off the cookies, continuing that metaphor, and, and they're, um, you know, delicious what's coming in. And it can be done with something that just may involve me or co-creative things, like this thing I mentioned a little earlier tonight in this journal, you know, the the nice friend who came by at work and um, and I was thinking about him and I was doing a little, you know, 30 second rendition of what I'm talking about here in the longer form when when Keegan was absolutely flying on it. And I thought, well, that'd be really cool. And I had some, a couple of questions. I never texted him. I never asked him because, you know, um, he's in a full day of work today. He's busy. <clears throat> 
And maybe 30 minutes later, he says, Hey, I'd love to come by and, and, um, ask, answer any questions you have. If you, you know, something about the truck or, or whatever, um, because I'm supposed to go do this thing and now it's delayed half an hour and I'm just sitting around, you know, looking at how the floor is laid down on the, on the floor. <laughs> I make sure it doesn't move. So I can't start anything new until I, you know, have this window to go do this project. And I said, yeah, this is great time. <laughs> it's interesting you say that. So it's very cool. It's very, very cool and very fun. And um, that so far is my journal. So if you think about the podcast and you want to send something my way, and again, think about any thoughts or ideas or tips or something I would love to hear and have a spectacular night. I love you.